at all. Right, so, I'm going why screw Han Zama? Okay, well, that's crazy. I loved his work and most of the stuff he does, right? I even love the, the music for The Crown. I love the music uh, from Man of Steel, BBS, basically. Every song, music, shit, he's done, right? Like it. A lot of respect for the guy. But here's my problem, right? Yeah, certainly he must have got enough of, uh, or had enough with all the hassle that Zack Snyder got and you know he, he he witnessed it with Man of Steel he may have witnessed it with BBS you know he may, he may have written some music for BBS that get cancelled in the cinema cut and then but all composers know this they, they, they know that stuff can happen and then he was getting uh, now, he never really signed on for Justice League, really. It was just Junkie XL. Uh, I'm, I'm led to believe, right? He, he washed his hands, he didn't really want to touch Justice League. And he said, um, you know, he's, he's washed his hands with superhero movies. Now, that, that may be the case, right? That may be the case. It may be the case that. Um, he walked it away because of trouble that his mate Zack Snyder was going through and it just, you know, to be done with it. And that's why he said, you know, I'm done with superhero movies, I want to move on to other projects. Then lo and behold, not even a year I believe has gone by, then he said he's doing the score for Wonder Woman. But I came back, maybe there's Maybe there's stuff in the pipeline concerning the superheroes, maybe it's under new management and that's why he's been brought back. Right? And so be it, right? But mom my, my major problem is I was looking forward to the 80s. I was looking forward to Wonder Woman 84. Uh, uh, and I, I was looking forward to the idea of of music from my generation. Now, let's face it, okay, my generation now are making TV shows. They're making movies, right? The disco halls and everything else is, is based on music of our generation, right? So that's why you get things like like uh, strange, Stranger Things. Uh, which is also based on the 80s. We're getting a lot of TV shows that are based around growing up in the 80s. We just had Player One, and uh, Player One had um, a lot of 80s, uh -huh, and stuff like that, you know, Take On Me. A lot of the young people might not have realised that, and some thought it was maybe a boy band, but no, this was from uh -huh. Now, as you can see, I've been leaving notes, we cards up above, and uh, I'll be leaving videos at the, you know, links at the end of this as well uh, of music that I think work well and, you know, that could work well in Wonder Woman. Some 80s tribute stuff. I mean, it, it seems to be... There was something to 80s movies. There was something to 80s movies uh, like Beverly Hills Cop, Tango and Cash, Rocky and you know all that sort of stuff you know the, the music but even Mannequin uh, nothing's going to stop us now you know there's something to those sort of movies that we cannot uh, recapture they had you know like Lethal Weapon and stuff like that it was action fun cheesy music Eddie Murphy hanging uh, in the back of a truck in Beverly Hills Cop, listening to the Pointer Sisters' Neutron Dance. Classic, you know, uh, rip it up and stuff like that. Anyway, so, having Wonder Woman based in the 80s, I was looking forward to, to that stuff, but now that Hans Zimmer's on board, 
push to the side, you may say, oh, that's just them trying to copy Guardians of the Galaxy. So what? Uh, you know, so what? At least Wonder Woman is said to be based in the 80s. You know, the area of the 80s. So, no, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is not meant to be around in the 80s. Right? Uh, and then, then you've got theme music. Okay? Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman uh, has her own theme tune. Okay? There's not much you can drive from that. And that's the main thing that's missing from our heroes. Man of Steel. Yeah, that's, that, Man of Steel has has got his own theme music. Wonder Woman now every time some person's doing gymnastics is to the Wonder Woman tune. It's become very recognizable. You could has Justice League got a theme tune? Does but not recognizable. Avengers probably has as well, but not something that if it played in the background I would instantly go that's the Avengers. So we need music um and also theme music is the main thing, okay? And that's where we were let down with Justice League as well, is it didn't capture the feel of the league. We need people to concentrate and Warner Brothers needs to concentrate on theme tunes. Because we want to be able to walk down the street, listen to a song and say, that's Azam, that's Aquaman, that's The Flash, that's the theme tune to that. We need... It works. It's been working for years. Right? We need theme tunes. I'm not caring about who's doing some sort of musical score around the film. I'm not bothered if, if um, there's nice wee romantic music at a lovely bit. I would prefer some sort of 80s track. That's why I'm not all bothered about Hans Zimmer coming on board. And another thing, he's one of the best musicians in the world, right? Best composers in the world. Surely he's powerful enough to, to have said something in an interview and say, listen, the way they treated Zach, right? It's not that Warner Brothers would come to, over to Hans Hammer and say, you'll never work with us, you, you, you know, you spoke up against us. They need people like Hans Hammer's. And I have more respect for people that can come out and actually speak the truth. Because most of the people, including the actors like Jason Momoa and everybody else, if they come out and start talking the truth, it's not like they're going to say, they can't blacklist them. They can't blacklist a composer. They may, okay, the studios may blacklist an actor in some sort of way. Blacklist just basically means they're not going to work for, for that industry anymore or some weird shit because of a contract. But come on, Hans Zimmer, the guy that goes around the world and do concerts. So surely if he had a problem, or the reason why he walked away was because of Zach, um, then I would have loved him to have said something. This is why I am not doing superheroes in the moment anymore. Money. Somebody say money? Money? Yeah, I'll do Wonder Woman. That's fine. Yep, yep. See, we don't honestly know why he just came back to do Wonder Woman. We we can assume it's because he's doing it out of respect for Zach or stuff like that. But again, you know, and he, and he walked away from Justice League because of that. And, but then why say it? Why go back on his words? Wonder Woman would probably have just have been fine by 80 soundtracks alone. And then he could have came back for Zack's next movie. I don't know. But right now, that's, you know, again, got lots of respect for, for Hans Zimmer. Have bought his soundtracks, BVS and Man of Steel. And I even bought the Justice League soundtrack because it's my heroes and because it's got some inkling of the Justice League theme tune. And that's what we need more importantly, is theme tunes. And what's Hans Zimmer going to add to Wonder Woman? Yeah, good music. But the theme tune's already done. He should have been there and to speak up for himself and make sure he... I think Junkie XL, I think he, he created... Um, I think he created theme tunes for all the, the DC characters and then got cancelled and and was fired and stuff like that. So, is it a big deal that Hans Zimmer's doing Wonder Woman? No. 
So please, you know, let's get back to the 80s. Let's have enjoyment. You know, let, let's... And, as I say, here's some daft, crazy ideas um, of music. If, if, you, and if you've got a crazy 80s tune that you would like to hear being played while Wonder Woman's kicking ass, please comment down below. Thank you.